What is up guys, Eric here from Real Film Reviews bringing you another movie review, this time for the new Aaron Sorkin film, Molly's Game. Molly's Game is written and directed by Aaron Sorkin of Social Network fame, stars Jessica Chastain, Idris Elba, Kevin Costner, and Michael Sarah. It tells the story of Olympic skier Molly Bloom, who after a failed attempt at being a professional skier, sort of just bounced around and somehow ended up being part of an extremely high class poker game out in LA, and she eventually took that poker game over over and developed another in New York. Now after all of this had happened, she was eventually arrested by the FBI for her involvement in these games. Now that's not a spoiler, as the whole film is told basically post-arrest. She is trying to convince Idris Elba to be her lawyer by telling him her side of the story. And her side of the story basically includes a lot of flashbacks and a lot of voiceover from Jessica Chastain. Sorkin's writing has always been very well known for having extremely quick and smart and very fierce dialogue in it. Specifically in films like The Social Network and A Few Good Men that he wrote, those scripts are very highly revered. The Social Network has one of my favorite scripts of all time, personally, and he really brings it again in this movie. He has perfectly written characters that all have phenomenal dialogue throughout the whole film. There are multiple monologues in this movie that are extremely well done, and I honestly think that he brought his A-game when writing this script because it made the whole thing that much more interesting and these characters that much more relatable when in reality they aren't very relatable at all. But a script can only truly be as good as the actors portraying it, and the actors in this movie all do a phenomenal job, and no one really just takes the whole movie over and overshadows everyone else, which I really liked. Jessica Chastain gives a powerhouse performance as this very strong woman who sort of just was trying to obtain the American dream before it crumbled underneath her, and I loved that. She played that so well in this whole film. Idris Elba, as her lawyer, has a phenomenal monologue in this movie, and honestly gives a solid performance throughout. Kevin Costner, who is an even smaller role than Idris Elba in terms of supporting cast, has a phenomenal monologue. He has one scene that is so good in this movie. And then Michael Sarah, who you could argue is of probably equal level of Kevin Costner in this movie, is also amazing. Every single scene that he was in, I loved him in it. He did such a good job in this movie, and I really think that he hopefully won't get overshadowed too heavily by everyone else, because I think this script was written so well that every character played their role and every actor played said role from the script to perfection. And being as this was Sorkin's directorial debut, I have to say I was honestly rather impressed by what he was able to accomplish here. He definitely had some interesting techniques in the way that he filmed some sequences. A lot of the movie was filmed in a rather standard manner, but for this being his debut and how big of a film this is, I honestly have to commend him because he did a very good job. The music and score are really great throughout the whole film. A lot of the music helps sort of place you in time, being as the film takes place over a fairly long period of time in the flashbacks, and I think that that worked really well in that telling. But the other thing is that this story is just so interesting to everyone. This is a poker game that was filled with musicians, artists, athletes, actors, art dealers, all of these famous people that we might know, and Molly didn't share any of their names. There have been a few that have been named since her book came out all those years ago and everything. And the cool thing about this movie is you can sort of theorize who was participating in these games based on the actors playing there, who that's supposed to be, who this is supposed to be, and I really thought that that was super cool because it adds just another level of intrigue to this already very interesting story. My only issues with this film sort of revolve around needing more explanation, and I think one thing is in the poker aspect of the film. While we learn that Molly herself taught herself everything she knows about poker, we as the audience learn very little, and I realize that in terms of the story of this film, maybe poker isn't the most important thing, but it's sort of where this whole story starts, is this poker game, and even though it grows much larger than that, that's where it begins, and there are a ton of scenes in this movie that take place during or about these poker games, and the fact that they're using this these words that I think for most of the audience, no one really knows what they mean because they are very in-depth poker terms, the, the script never teaches us about these things, it just sort of spoon feeds us everything that we need to know about these poker games, and I really wish it wouldn't have, because I think if they would have taken just a small scene for Molly to sort of explain things to us while she was learning it, then it would have made those scenes carry the suspense that they clearly were supposed to have, but instead, since everything was just spoon-fed to the audience, it just sort of felt like we were watching a poker game, and there was no real suspense or energy built up in that scene. But definitely my biggest issue with this film was the ending, and obviously I 
can't say what the ending was because I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, but I just think it needed more finality. I think we needed another scene, maybe some like scroll text across the screen saying what happened afterwards because this film sort of ends on this very dry note. It just sort of ends and then the, the credits roll. And while it worked, I don't think that the ending was bad. I really just think for the audience, we needed to know more about what happened after because we learned so much about what happened before the arrest, but we don't learn enough about the ending and what happens after everything. And I really think that that's important with how much we get to know the characters in this film. I'm going to give Molly's Game a B plus. I think this is another great script by Aaron Sorkin that's directed fairly well in his directorial debut. I'm excited to see where he goes from here. But honestly, the thing that makes this movie is all the great performances by the whole cast. If you're really into true life sort of unbelievable stories, I highly recommend checking this one out. I really enjoyed it. If you're honestly just a fan of Idris Elba or Jessica Chastain or Aaron Sorkin's past films, just go watch it because you'll enjoy the film. Well guys, as always, I'm Eric. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of Molly's Game, share everything we do here on Real Film Reviews, and hope to see you guys later.